Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Zelda. So, alright, I messed up. I, uh, I lost a bunch of footage, but the good news is I have, like, a save state, uh, right at the end of my last video, so I've returned here. Um, but unfortunately it means that the section that you're about to watch is, uh, not going to be totally blind. I'm pretty much going to be trying to retrace, uh, my steps from what I discovered. Uh, playing for the last, like, hour and a half. So, here's what happened. I found Dungeon 2, and I, uh, and I beat Dungeon 2, and then I went into Dungeon 3, and I beat that, too. I also found the entrance to Dungeon 8. That was actually the first thing that happened. So, I'm gonna try to redo all of that. Um... And unfortunately, I had also bought, like, a whole bunch of things, including... Uh, I got, like, a new sword. Let me see if I can remember where that was. I, like, I found the waterfall. Yeah, okay, so here's what happened. I went into this screen, and I realized I was stuck here. Like, all of the exits here take me back to the same screen. As you can see. Except for this one. When I go left, I end up here. And I noticed there is a waterfall here. So, I was looking for, an, for a sword at the waterfall. Uh, that was like one of the... One of the messages I got from an old man in a dungeon. So I killed these guys, I got some money, and I went into this waterfall. I paid her 20 bucks. She told me to go up the mountain. So I tried going this way. And there was a sword throwing guy up here. Who I killed, but I'm not going to this time. Master using it, and you can have this. And this guy gave me a new sword, and this sword packs a wallop. Derp. Yeah, the sword hits really hard. <laughs> it's pretty great. So I also saved up and bought a new shield. But I may not do that this time. Uh, so I think once I go onto the screen, I'm kind of stuck. I think the only way out is here. Oh, by the way, I can totally kill these guys now with this new sword. Falling rocks here and on the next couple of screens. will probably kill me. I can also kill these things. You'll just have to believe me. Alright, go back to the beginning. This is actually kind of good. So, world... Uh, not world 2. Dungeon 2 was kind of in this unexplored patch of rooms over here to the right. So let me go like up 2 and then start heading right. I think I think level eight was over here too. Yeah. Go up here. Uh yeah, it was right around here somewhere. This was just another shop. Yeah, so I bought that shield in there for 130, uh, rupees. And did I wanna- I don't think I wanted to go into the dungeon yet. I wanna go more this way. Oh god, not bombs, come on. Boomerang. Alright, where was this dungeon? Alright, so here was the entrance to eight. I burned this tree because it looked super suspicious. As you can see, this is level 8, <laughs> so skipping ahead quite a bit, and I died in here, which I will probably do again. Ooh, got a key. Hmm. Okay. 
her to be stuck. The enemies in here are no joke. This was the room where I figured out how to kill this thing. You just kind of throw bombs at it, and it dies. You can actually kill it with a sword, too. And... Huh. Now, wait a minute. Why is that thing already bombed? Oh, I guess I must have accidentally blown that up uh, while I was putting bombs down just now. So, yeah, as you can see, those, uh, those kind of blue-armored knights... Those things kick your butt, like, severely. They take a lot of hearts when they hit you. And there's another guy this way. We've got these, like, fireball shooting statues. I haven't even been in this room yet. I don't know what this is all about. Oh god. Uh, this does not bode well. Okay, I can stun me. Stun those things, the zo the not the zombies, the mummy looking things. Okay. I don't think those Whew. I don't think these like gl glowing things actually hurt me. I think they um Ooh, a book. Like a holy Bible. Let's see what that is about. Yeah, interesting. It's a non selectable item. This did not happen <laughs> before. I died in like the second room. Yes, yeah, so these things don't actually hurt me, they just kind of stun me. I'm kind of impressed that I got through that boss right there. So let me go north and die on these armored knights. Um, yeah. That's gonna happen. Here we go. I don't even have the safety of a doorway here. So you notice how my screen kind of slows down here? I had a question whether this was a, like, a result of me using the emulator, or, um, or whether the original NES game did this. If, if this is my emulator, I might have to, like, kind of play around with it to figure out why it does that. Um, so, let's go back. Oh, that's right, I start in the dungeon. That was wasteful. So, I, yeah, I've got to find level 2 again. Um, I swear it was, like, right around here somewhere. And I also wouldn't mind getting another $130 to buy that shield. The, the, the shield that you can buy in the store, I learned, blocks the sea serpent's bullets. So that's pretty great. I think it's over here. Yes, there it is. So up, up top of this ladder is level 2. Got a full, full box of bombs. Here we go. Level 2. Level 2 is very serpentful. There are a lot of snakes in here. These guys. I figured out the way that snakes move is that they, they run at you when they're like on the same line as you. So the boomerang's really useful against them.
Hopefully I can make enough money to get a shield, too. See, like, watch, this guy's gonna run as soon as he's... So kind of staying in between the lines helps quite a bit. I remember this map was shaped kind of like a moon. And it was actually a really easy dungeon. I think this was actually easier than dungeon one. So there were two rooms beneath me. And then over here, if I went through this door, uh, I could bomb, like, a whole series of runes here. That's right. Yeah, sorry this is, like... I mean, this isn't blind, because I just did this, like, an hour ago. Uh, and I know it's a lot more interesting when I'm figuring it out the first time. This is just sort of like a memory game. The map was right here. So... There's, you can see the dungeon is shaped like a moon, and this whole, there's like a series of rooms here where I could just go north over and over again. So, that didn't happen the first time. I think I played better last time. Now you can actually see it, see the direction that we're going through the dungeon in that map in the top left. here, and then I just bombed my way through all these rooms. Rotten Banana, which is the Blue Boomerang. And the Blue Boomerang goes... I don't know whether it hits harder, but it sure... Sorry. It sure goes a lot farther. Oh my god. Come on. Terrible. Just horrible. <laughs> I made it through here on one life <laughs> the first time in. I kind of rocked this dungeon, but now I'm playing like a dummy. Oh, what is going on? I'm like, my brain isn't working. Oh god, come on! <laughs> I can face the right way. Murderous, I went on a murderous rampage. I'm not doing well right now. I can kind of skip over all these connecting doors on the right. Yeah. Give me hearts. Give me all the hearts. So that kind of blue boomerang was the only thing I found in here. This is a kind of weird boss. It's like super slow. Well, it's not a boss. It's a mini boss. Doesn't get much easier than that one. Oh, that's what I need. Oh, 
escape me. Oh god. My fingers aren't working. That's the problem. You can kinda hear the, the boss. I guess all the bosses make kind of the same sound. They give you bombs, which is like a big hint. Um, the other big hint is... Like over here. There was a... Uh, yeah, there we go. Dodongo dislikes smoke. So when I, I heard that, the first thing I thought was, oh, blue candle, let me try that. So I tried burning the boss, and, uh, spoiler alert, it didn't work at all. Uh, it's actually the bombs. The bombs make smoke. go. And it's actually, it's kind of hard to get the... There we go. It's not easy to get the bomb, like, lined up perfectly. There we are. Two bombs, and he disappears. We get our life, we get our heart container, six hearts, and we get our Triforce. So yeah, not a, not a difficult dungeon. That's a pretty straightforward one. So the, the special item in there, I guess, was this boomerang upgrade. So we now have the good old rotten banana. And I thought... Because I kind of screwed up. So because that dungeon went really fast, uh, I decided I would do the third dungeon. Which I've mostly explored, I just need to kill the boss. Um, and I guess... Let's see if I can get one of these guys to drop... ...bombs for me. Nope, too bad. Uh, because the, again, the kind of boss in level 3... ...is a lot easier if you have bombs. Any bombs? No dice. It's okay, though. Getting close to being able to buy that shield, too. Here we go, back to level three. We're gonna go right for the boss, kill him. And then, if I can find where it was, I'll show you, like, the last little secret I discovered. And then I'll call it a video. Over the river. Yeah, totally worth it. This was the old woman who didn't say anything. Ow. Down here... ...was level 3. We've already pretty much explored all of level 3. I already went over to the left, I already went up north. Oh, one cool thing about the sword, check this out. It one-shots these guys, like they don't even split in half. And they drop items. Go, go, better sword. Worth good money.
and it hits harder. So, bonus. Makes these guys a lot less frightening. don't actually hurt. They just kind of stun you, so no big deal, really. They prevent you from, like, using your sword for a bit. Yeah. They don't actually damage your heart, so it's not a problem. So there's going to be a boss in here, and it's this guy, and we've learned from level 8 that we can kill it. And like this. That is it for level 3. We are flying through these dungeons now. Seven, seven heart containers. And we already got the, like, special thing from there, which was the raft. So I think the last thing I'm going to do is try to show you another secret that I found. And if I can get the money for it, I want to buy that shield, and that'll pretty much be right up to where I got. So what happened was I w went off in this direction, and I found... a woman who was willing to sell me her secrets. right over here. Yep. So I gave her 30 bucks, because that was what I had on me after I bought the shield. And she told me to go northwest southwest to the Forest of Maze. I think that's supposed to be through the Forest of Maze. And I say that, but, oh god. Uh, yada yada yada. I say that because go north here. Look familiar? I hate you guys so much. Alright, so north, west, south, and west. You music? Yes! Oh, I don't have the special shield. Special shield totally stops these swords. Which makes these guys much easier. Oh, uh, god. Use bombs! Worth the bombs. Alright. So this is basically where I stopped, uh, well... <laughs> the screen north of that is the entrance to a graveyard. And, uh, I have in my notes that there should be an old man at the grave. So I'm guessing somewhere in that graveyard is an old man. But that's pretty much where I stopped playing, so... This is where I will leave you. In our next adventure, I'm going to buy the big shield, and I have to find level 4. I guess that's it. Find level 4. So, thanks for following. I'm sorry that today's run wasn't, like, blind exploration. It was just sort of a rehash of what I had already done in the previous hour. Uh, but next episode should be back to it. So, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. I am having a blast playing this game, even though I'm not that good at it. <laughs> I just, I cannot get over my tendency to run directly into enemies while I'm trying to hit them with my sword. 
So, uh, <laughs> hopefully, maybe, maybe by series end I'll be better. But, uh, I will, uh, I'll see you soon in the next episode. <laughs>